I kind of know what happened to Bruce Lee and his art. I have some, you know, thoughts on what I believe happened based on my experiences of what I'm going through. I see that Bruce Lee was way ahead of his time. He was basically formulating what MMA is discovering right now, like decades ago. People think this stuff is new, when actually he started seeing all this stuff decades before this present moment. And he didn't know what to label it. You know, so it was initially labeled Jun Fan Kung Fu, you know, Bruce Lee's Kung Fu, which is what it was. Then he la later changed something, you know, to say, you know, Dao Ji Kun Do. And during his time, he was teaching some people, you know, privately. But most of the people he was teaching were like famous actors, people that had a lot of money. He was charging at the time like $250 an hour for instruction. But during that time, he knew he wasn't able to make enough money to, to support his family just from martial arts alone. So he had to figure out another way to support his family. That's when he started to go into acting. To try to get into film to make money to survive. So he didn't really have much of an opportunity to teach. You know, he, you know, and, but he had a lot to teach. But he didn't have that much time to teach. And what, what I say, what I feel that happened, is that the people that he was teaching probably wasn't satisfying him, wasn't meeting up to his standards of what he wanted to express in his art. Because not only was he the scientist, the creator of the art, of his own art, but he was the practitioner as well. He would experiment directly by using his own body to, to experiment. So you might have like these scientists that might create a very effective way of fighting and they, they, they use athletes as a test to see if it works. But they don't test it themselves because they're just all developed mentally. They don't develop them physically, themselves physically. But Bruce Lee, he did it all. He, he, he created it and then he applied it to himself and nobody else was able to express it as good as he was able to express it. So then, you know, I feel that he just basically said, you know what, I'm just going to do this myself. Forget this teaching thing. I'm going to do this um, my own way to basically reach out to more people to express and share you know, the beauty of Chinese martial arts. And that's what he did with the film. So when he went into the film, being an actor, you know, going back and forth from China to America, being married with kids and everything, there's no way that he had that much time to teach. All his energies was in training himself, in you know, acting in the film to make money, spending time with his family. He, he he couldn't have had much time at all to teach privately. So what ends up happening is that the few people that he did teach, they couldn't have got a, a grasp, a good grasp of, you know, understanding of his art. I don't believe they, they did. Because really, Bruce Lee was spending so much of his time, you know, creating the art, you know, and 
documenting things and putting things in, in writing. He's busy working, acting, making movies, spending time with his family. Next thing you know, he gets into stardom. People start getting to know him. Everybody starts getting interested and in learning from him and getting to know his movies. And then his life started to get very stressful started to change very quickly and he was still trying to get into international fame recognition and then he went you know into making enter the dragon but then that's when everything started to get very stressful because there's so many expectations and overworking himself over training himself Probably just thinking like, you know, this is his, his chance to really make it big. So he needs to look good on screen. So being a perfectionist, doing takes over and over and over again. Probably not sleeping that well. Probably not eating that well. Losing weight. Getting stressed. Probably dehydrating himself to look more cut for the movie. Then ending, end up getting a headache. Next thing you know, he takes a pill. To relieve this headache and then he never wakes up again. You know, nobody knows exactly what happened. But, you know, he did come close to death before he actually died. I think a few weeks, a few months before he actually died, he did black out. But he didn't learn from that experience and he kept going and going and going. And then, and then it finally happened again and he died. So in, in these books they're even saying how he would talk to one of his friends and tell him how, you know, before he actually died he was telling him his visions of how he would die early or something like that. So he kind of felt it coming already. And I never mentioned this before, but to me, there's quite a possibility that the higher ups maybe possibly could have arranged his death to occur. Because he did go against the authority. The, the traditional Chinese did not want him to teach Chinese martial arts to the Western society. They didn't want that art to be turned around and used against them. He, they didn't want that art to be exploited. They didn't want Chinese martial arts to be um, abused. And what happened? Now we got MMA. And that's exactly what they were worried about. And that's exactly what happened. But Bruce Lee didn't see MMA coming. He just felt, you know, I can't discriminate against Westerners. He just felt, you know, I'm being discriminated based on my race. You know, not getting roles just because I'm Chinese. Getting denied, getting treated differently because I'm Chinese. So his mentality is like, I'm never... Why I'm never going to be racist towards other people when people are racist towards me and I know how it feels. So he's standing up for what he believed was right. But at the same time, the traditional people on top didn't know how to communicate properly about what they're worried about. They're worried about the martial art, the Chinese martial art being exploited. But what they don't realize is not based on race. It's based on the individual. There could be Caucasians that will represent the Chinese martial arts in the correct way. And there could be Asians that will represent it in the incorrect way. So it's not necessarily about not teaching this color of people, but it's more about teaching the right person that will represent it correctly. So he went against the authority and started to teach anyway. And there is a possibility 
that they arranged for his death. And what I talked about in other videos is the way that they do it is they do it through hidden power. They don't attack him directly. They might send a woman his way, seduce him, drug him. Next thing you know, he dies. Just like how Michael Jackson died. It's 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 um mystery. They you know there's there's theories going out there saying that he was murdered. You know, and that's how it happens. Like very easily, all they had to do was just send a woman his way, seduce him, get him comfortable, give him give him a deadly pill, and he doesn't wake up. It's very easy. You know, so one of the, the greatest martial artists to ever live could die just like that. No problem. So you got one of the, the best boxers, like Mike Tyson. Send, they could just send a woman his way and accuse him of rape. Then he could end up in jail. One of the greatest basketball players like Kobe Bryant. Send the girl his way. She could accuse him of rape. Tupac, one of the greatest rappers. Send the girl his way. Accuse him of rape. Next thing you know, he's in jail. So it is quite a possibility the higher-ups could have sent a girl his way, Bruce Lee's way, to get him killed for going against the authority. So... Going back to what I was saying about his teaching, he didn't, there's no way he would have had the time to, to adequately share his art in order to pass it on to the, to the right person. Nobody was representing his art the way that he wanted it to be represented except for him. And I believe that's why he died with it. Because he's not going to let somebody else that's mediocre representing his art in the wrong ways and basically commercializing, exploiting it, and damaging his entire legacy. So he would much rather die with it. You know, but if Bruce Lee lived until he was like 80 years old, and he trained his son, who, was, who got even better than him, in all aspects, physically, mentally, spiritually, I believe he would have had no problem Passing on his development of the Tao of Jikun Do directly to his son to have his son represent it the correct way so that it could keep going on from generation to generation. But he died before that could happen. And that's why it was not passed on. Because nobody can meet up to his high expectations. That's what I see happen with the Tao of Jikun Do. That's why it ended where it ended. Now, what's left is his writings, and his writings have encrypted wisdom from the ancient East. So all you got to do is study his writings, and then learn from the masters that he learned from, and then you could continue the legacy of the Tao Ji Kun Do. But you can no longer call it the Tao Ji Kun Do, because then you'll be misrepresenting Bruce Lee. So then you're going to have to start another, another art yourself with the inspiration of the Tao of Jeet Kune Do, with the inspiration of Bruce Lee. But really, I see that his real disciples are the people that understand his writings, not the people that learn from him directly. Because I'll tell you right now, I've met with a bunch of people face-to-face. -face. Few of them will understand what I'm teaching. But the stuff that I put on YouTube, the stuff I put online, the people that understand the spirituality of it, those are the real disciples that have the, the understanding of the spirituality. But as far, as far as the understanding of the combat, that has to take place face to face. But as far as the understanding of the spirituality, the understanding of the fitness, people can get that easily from reading a book or, or watching a video online. And that's what I see. That happened with the Tao Chi Kundo.